I'm Dr. Andrea Pusick and I'm Chief of Plastic Surgery at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Women who choose implant reconstruction have choices in terms of the types of implants that they'd like to have. Broadly, they can have a saline or a water-filled implant, or they can have a silicone implant. The broad distinction for saline versus silicone, a saline implant, women may feel more comfortable having a saline implant because if a saline implant leaks, it's very visible. It deflates and it's, it's changed at that time. Whereas a silicone implant, if it leaks, Looking at a patient, she will not say look any different, she won't necessarily feel any different. So with silicone implants, we have a little bit of a higher level of surveillance. You'll be seen by the plastic surgeon a little more frequently, and we also recommend regular MRIs to check to see if the implant has leaked. What I do tell patients who have chosen to have a silicone implant is that if that implant does leak, the silicone would rarely go anywhere and it won't make you sick. But we do want to pick up on that eventually to change that implant to remove it to put a new one in. So there's a higher level of surveillance with silicone implants. There are regular MRIs compared to saline, but the benefits are that silicone does tend to look and feel somewhat better.